Oh, me too. Yeah, take it off, Micah. <laughs> Feel the beat of the rhythm of the night. <laughs> 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 hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, It's so juicy. The violence. Oh, you spell it. Parental abuse. Mmm. Shoulder. Smells like chicken. Today we're reacting to a food video. I hope yeah. you're uh, I've seen this guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a big guy. This guy. We the best, this guy. Best, We've seen this guy. Best ever food review show. This best is called ever. Sweet Indian Street Food. From Sweet Indian Street, Street Food. food. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, I like how. <laughs> You know, there's a whole. Crack me with your ring. There's a whole list of songs that get white people hyped. That's, that's one, one of them. One hundred percent. That's one of them. That's a white people hyped uh, song. Sweet Indian street food tour in North India. Ah uh, yes, India's dessert capital. Sweet Wait, uh, unless sweet North food. India. Bengal would be considered west. I mean east. Right? East, yeah. Hmm. That's where the Mishnis are, folks. I think every state would probably be like that. We've wrong. got our own thing there, but I'm partial to. Bengal, why is that? Why. You know why. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm such a bad boy. <laughs> Are you going to have to exercise like twice as much tomorrow? That's Jalibi. Feel the beat of the rhythm of the night. Oh, my neck. <laughs> when it comes to cuisine, there's one type of food that absolutely cannot be overlooked. Dessert. Oh, and here oh. they do dessert unlike any place I've seen before. Oh man, yeah. this whole thing is just full of sugary. Yeah. Syrup. Yeah. This is like my kind of hot right here. Yeah. Every region in India does dessert a little different. The pesto? But in Jokur, there's no <laughs> doubt that they did he say Jokur? Anywhere they can put no yeah. more recipe in it. Today Jokur. we'll be checking out some super simple classic street That's food so sweets. Cool. He's yeah. making this gigantic I, one for us. I read that. Making jelly beans. All the way to some crazy complex dessert preparations oh. you've never seen before. Pesto? No ice cream. I'll come across the ingredients that I've never even heard of. Oh. This is gold. And there will be plenty of balls, too. <laughs> mm. Get ready to satisfy your sweet tooth. Today we'll find out if Jodhpur is the real dessert capital no, of India. A different place. Yeah, maybe. I'm guessing Jodhpur is different than Jaipur. Jodhpur native, fashion blogger, and food lover, Archana, is going to be my guide today. She's done a bit of modeling, too. I do a bit of modeling. <laughs> you know, like when people do a before and after photo? Yeah. I'll just do the before photo. And when you go to after one. Where are we right now? <laughs> Oh, I see a bunch of tourists and a lot of people carrying stuff on their head. I really like that. What does Jodhpur <laughs> make in India? It's basically the like mixture butt. of saffron and mama. Mm. What is mama? Milk solid. Okay. Okay. It's like boiling, boiling milk and it's turned into mama, a paste sort of thing. Are we going to try that today? Yeah, sure. Mama, awesome. <laughs> Shri Mishwalal Hotel is a landmark in Jodhpur Central Market. Oh, and it's not even a hotel. This place, is it more famous for desserts or for being a hotel? Oh, this is desserts. It says hotel right here. For the last 90 years, this place has been crafting the perfect dessert menu. What are we here for? We are going to eat rubby. It's boiled milk. After getting the boiled milk a bit heavy, they add sugar on the way. Okay, let's dish it up. This rabdi is made with milk that's been boiled until becoming thick. This is called mawa in Hindi. Sugar is added for sweetness with a splash of rose water mixed with cardamom on top. Oh. Look at this. It's essentially dehydrated I don't like rose milk water. with sugar. So it's like very rich, creamy, and then chunky. Take a nice big bite. Oh. You like it? Mm. I would not like that it's texture. Actually, it yeah. texture. Yeah. disgusts me. Consistency. It's a little like cottage cheese, but sweet. The flavor, it's creamy, sweet. It almost tastes like a little bit of honey. But there's no honey. But there's no honey. Bottoms up. <laughs> We're just getting started. With so many sweets available, this place has a huge kitchen prep area. And we're getting a behind the scenes look at what they're making next. Oh, yeah. We 
have come to the preparation rooms at this hotel. Again, it's uh, not a real hotel. But if it was, this is the room I would stay in. What is this called? Michel Alpe. Have I mentioned that Jodhpur loves dairy? Here they start with mawa, then add a slew of ingredients including sugar oh, and sample, so which gives it its vibrant it's like yellow color. This cooks in a wok until it becomes the paste you see now. This is my offering to your team. What do you think? Yeah. Yes? Thank you. Once the ball <laughs> is formed, it gets a literal stamp of approval. It's beautiful. Yeah. Essentially, they kind of stamped it here. Do you think we could like all eat one together? Guys, could you please join me in eating one of these for my show? Just yeah? Just Cheers. Just <laughs> Mmm, it's very thick, almost like Play-Doh, like a softer Play-Doh. A ton of saffron flavor coming through, and to get it so fresh right from the ballers themselves. Gentlemen, uh -huh. thank you so much. First of all, be careful crossing the street. Where are we headed right now? We are going to Moto Jalebi. I know Jelly Bee. It's like one of my favorite desserts. Oh, it's like a giant funnel cake. That's magical. It's this basic flour, batter, sugar. Is there something special about this place? This is 110 years old. The third generation. Yeah, and there's a line. Wow, this place is popular. Hi there. How are you doing? <laughs> what is happening over here? Oh, that's for me? Yeah. Whoa. Wow, that's he's a big making one. this gigantic one for us. They're Rather great if they're jelly bean. warm. Yes. If they're cold, much better warm. Right here. Yeah, they're, they're terrible, terrible if they're cold. Yeah, yeah. they're so, so much better when you get them like fresh, fresh right out of the woods. That one is nuts. Look at this. Thank you, sir. Oh. I want one oh, right now. Man. Huge jelly bean, the biggest he made. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, it's, it's, it's like more chewy than crunchy. Oh, it's very yeah. brittle. I've uh, never had it this way. It's so thin. You ready to just try it out? Let's go for it. Yeah. Oh, it's so toasty. Crunchy. When you take a bite, the sugar gushes out of it. That is just straight guilty pleasure. I'm such a bad boy. Mm. <laughs> Apparently, they're really good with ice cream. Much tomorrow? I guess it is. Me too. Iconic confectionaries, perhaps in all of India, Jodhpur sweets. Uh, with a reputation so strong yeah, yeah, that Jodhpur. copycat shops with the same name has sprung up all over the place. It's that good. When you come in here, you've got a sweet tooth. Okay, your boyfriend just broke up with you. You're sad. You're gonna eat away your loneliness. What do you come in here and try? <laughs> She was straight to it. The kanji cutli will mend our broken heart. And it's so super sweet. I think we've had one a ton of but here. Yeah. You're saying this is so sweet, so delicious, it can yeah. cure any loneliness or heartbreak. All right, cheers. <laughs> oh. Did I? Mm hmm. It tastes like dried fruit mixed with um, molasses, maybe? Yeah. And that's been a long tradition in India, having the silver on top. <laughs> With so much to choose from, are trying to recommend some of the most unique treats offered here. What is that? Rose? This is just a round ladu. This is basically an almond sweet. Is it actually rose flavoring? Yes. I must say, India is the only place I've been to where they season desserts with flowers. Yeah. Which other one do you think? Uh, this is the famous sweet of Zodhpur. Uh, like, like, I think we've had Ladoo. Ladoo is actually what they style. call classic. Yeah. Okay, let's try some of the old and some of the new. They call me the Ladoo. Oh. Oh, beautiful presentation. Oh, okay, I think we start with the classic and then we'll work our way up to this rose one. Though these balls look somewhat similar, their preparation could <laughs> be more different. Ladu means ball, and the robbery ladu starts with a mawa gram flour bowl <clears throat> that's then strained through this skimmer spoon, creating tiny fried little balls. Those get tossed into a sweet syrup, <laughs> set and balls? cardamom yeah. blend. Finally, they add cardamom powder, rose petals, oh, wow. fresh ones, almonds, good. and press them into the balls you see here. Now to you, is this a one biter? No. Two biter? Yeah. Are you ready? Cheers. A two biter ball. No, or... no, four of them. Whoa, that is so rich, so sugary, kind of crumbly. Shiny balls in here. Ooh, it feels luxurious. Is this what kings would eat back in the day? <laughs> yes. I feel like a king as I eat this. Mmm. Oh. My oh. God. The rose bud on Ladu has a very different The oldest one here is the one that has made balls. of saturated and blended almonds and sugar. That's right, this big ball of paste consists mainly of almonds. Then they pile on roasted oh. almonds oh. and rose syrup. Mix it oh. up, ball it up, then even more rose syrup oh, and actually <laughs> dry rose petals. Finally, I'm it's done with rose. Rose. pistachio flakes and ready to Give eat. me a pistachio one. Part. Does Ladu mean ball? Yeah. Do people ever say like, you don't have the Ladus to mess with me? 
Does anyone say that? Like, no. That guy's got quite no. a set of blood dudes. Let's try it out. I don't want my own. Mm. My wife's own this. Oh, very sweet, obviously. It's kind of similar texture, but has some crunch in there with the nut. But man, rose flavoring, that is out there. It's really perfumey kind of aroma to it that you taste up in your nose. Are you still working on that? No. <laughs> She's like, what? Delicious, I love it. But that's not why we came here, is it? <laughs> We're here for a super secret dessert. But first, the owner is showing me how all this sweets making is possible. Every floor above their main room where they're serving the dessert is just full of pots and pans and cooking, different things going on. Look at this place. How many people are working here creating all this food? I don't get to do it. Whoa! How many? It's not 8,200. So but then you come up the elevator uh, and you just see there's so many tasks to be done. Now here they're making uh, rasgulla, here they're making uh, mava. So this whole machine, they put normal milk in here. Yeah. When it's solid enough, you just dump it into here. Yeah. I would love to try it. This is a kind of common ingredient here, mawa, right? We did with hand, you get a better taste. It's very hot. It is. It is very hot. It's kind of sticky. There it is. I can't hold it too long because it's burning my hands. You try it together? Let's do it. Wow, it is like the curry part of cottage cheese with sugar added. So it's a little sticky as you chew yeah. it. This is sweet, something that goes around all the people. We gave it a zoi. It's really hot. That is delicious. Wow, thank you very much. Oh, wow. We came here for one of the most unique desserts in all of India. It's called Pista Pandalore with like some ingredients fun. I've never met before. What is this one? It looks like caramelized onions. No, it's not. It's no one's mom. Look at this. That's so nuts. It's like a version of pandalore. So maybe there's some sugar mixed in there with them? Yeah. Before we cook it, we're going to just sample it a little bit. Oh, very perfuming. That is a very Fine. interesting ingredient. One yep. of the most complex but satisfying sweets I've ever discovered. You can't appreciate this food without understanding what goes into it. First, they need to make the pot or green portion of the dessert. It starts with cashews and pistachios that have been soaked in water, then ground into a paste. Then they prepare the wok. I think it becomes kind of a syrup, huh? Yeah, it's a sugar syrup. Oh, I guess I did learn a thing or two in food college. Hmm. Then they add <laughs> ghee and the ground nut paste. Pistachio powder brings out more pistachio flavor. And eventually, the whole concoction becomes a vibrant green paste. Oh, that is a beautiful shade of green. While that cools down, we make the masala, or the red part. Rose petals, pistachios, roasted almonds, mishri, or sugar crystals, poppy seeds, and their own luxurious pan chutney. Oh, wow. what is going on here? This is <laughs> gold. It's not gold, it's a silver leaf. And it's mixed with sugar syrup and saffron. All right. My wish did not come true. After it's mixed and settles for an hour, it looks like this. How many huh. kilograms of desserts have you secretly just all? <laughs> I have to taste the sweet before selling it. Hey, yeah. I feel that. Now, the assembly. Flatten the green pistachio paste and cut it into squares. Each piece is shaped into a small cone, then stuffed with our beautiful masala. Silver is carefully wrapped around the pot. Then the final touch, made with uh, a saffron and rose water mixture. He's giving like a little bindi to it. Yeah, what exactly what right? like. Yeah, that is. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so we're all going to try it out, right? With you guys too? How do you say cheers? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we asked that too. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. When I had this alone, way too powerful. It's very intense. With this kind of wonderful chewy sheet of pistachio, with that nuttiness balances out the perfuminess so much. It's a perfect blend. So good. I can even just take this too. Whether it's complex <laughs> or super simple, India knows how to take desserts to a whole new level. That's true. We know that song. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. It's such a treat to have you by my side this whole day explaining all this amazing cuisine to me. For you guys, you can check out Archana on Instagram. Also for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam. Do watch his video. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we've had a couple of the, the one, the, the, the square looking one with the silver on top. I think, I don't know if you guys were here. I think you might have been. We've had sweets a couple times. Mm -hmm. I've had pun. Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't taste that much different in India. 
pretty comparable. I'm not a fan. Very. Well, it tastes like perfume. Well, there's yeah. different types of pawn as well. We That's, had flaming pawn in New Delhi. No, they were trying to get me to try flaming pawn. Yeah, I, I did it. I would not. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I, oh, wait, did I? I thought you did do it. No, not the flame, because I wouldn't let somebody stick their hands in my mouth. That's true. You <laughs> could, and they had to do it. You couldn't hand it yourself. Yeah, I think they handed me a pawn. Yeah. And it was terrible still. <laughs> uh, but there's different types of pawn. So there's like chocolate pawn. There's all this other, but the like rose floral kind mm -hmm. is not, that's for, for an American palate. It's oh, it's just it's, way it's, too it's different. It's overwhelming like for it's, American palates. We, we had, uh, back in the day in the 90s and earlier, I suppose, we had this thing called potpourri. People just had it in their house. I was just talking to my wife today. Yeah, they, people don't do that in anymore. They really don't. I don't know. I don't know why we. It was a that. fragrant thing to make your house smell nice. Yeah, but that's what it tastes like. Yep. Like you took a, a handful of, of that, and you eat it. I remember when we ate that. Was that was. I think all three of us. I think we're into yeah, the trash it was bad. instantly. Bomb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a that wasn't a good one. But the jalebis are delicious. delicious we made that on, on, our, on our channel before. And Ladoos and other stuff that I can't remember. And just basically everything we've ever had in India tastes better in India. That's what we were told. In it. Unless cool. you make it. Then I'm you sure you can make it comparable. I'm sure you can. Obviously, I can't make it as good as the guy from that five star restaurant we went to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so good. That was one of my favorite things. <sighs> or the, or the palace amazing. that we went to. Or the. Yeah. <laughs> we ate a bunch of good food. Sorry. Next time. Next time. Like the five star restaurant, the palace we went to. <laughs> that does sound weird. Yeah, that does sound <laughs> weird, doesn't it? The palace we went to, and there were peacocks standing around as we ate the mutton. And I did feel weird. It was beautiful, but I felt weird like going to like a big palace. Even <laughs> yeah. though they, we were brought there and they, it was a wonderful experience. Beautifully, beautifully treated. Yeah, but it's, it's just, just it's a little awkward. It just, <laughs> it feels like when people are serving you, it just, it's oh, yeah. always strange. Yep to somebody who's not used to that. Yeah. Um, but food is good. You like food? Mm -hmm. I do. Yeah, you like food? Oh yeah. How is it? Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, cool. People always think that we don't let you guys talk. This is just them. This is just them. <laughs> <laughs> There's always comments when we all are in videos that said, let them talk. Yeah, so we let's are see. talking. Go ahead, This talk. is us talking. <laughs> Da <laughs> <laughs>